welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to escaping the black rook hold the legion expansion dungeon and it is located in val shara over in the broken isles today i'm going to be showing you how to escape out of black rook hold guys i gotta tell you it feels really good to be back doing these videos and showing you guys how to escape um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has supported me in my decision for going back and doing that. You guys are the best community. You guys are the best uh, viewers <laughs> and watchers on the channel. And I just want to say thank you so much. And it, it means a lot to me. So as we're starting off on a fresh new start and I have released all my other escape videos, I'm going to be showing you how to get out of the Black Rook Hold. Now, this dungeon is really easy to go through, especially if you have a high character. Obviously, you can just one shot everything. Uh, but escaping is a little tricky, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. And I was the one to actually get the bounty on this place, so I am claiming the bounty for myself. So if you want to learn how to escape, uh, enjoy the show here. Okay, so there's a few things you're going to be needing for this escape. Now, you're going to be needing a toy where you can get underneath uh, places such as the Dark Moon Seesaw. The Sandbox Storm Griffin is really good. And you're going to need something to make you enlarge, like the Vikral Drinking Horn or the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Elixir of Giant Growth Potions. And I would also bring the Noggin Fogger Elixir, and I'm going to show you why. So where I'm currently at is actually right below the last boss room. Uh, I'm one floor below, so I just came down from the last boss room on the stairs. There is a gate that you can go into and it, this will take you to the Rook's Roost or you can go back down the stairs and go back to the, you know, or you can go upstairs, sorry, and go to the Raven's Crown where we just came from. But right in the middle here, there's a gate that you'll see. And when you jump down in the middle here, you're actually able to jump on these pillars right here. Now, as you can see, this is like a perfect spot to put, uh, to build like a seesaw or something. But to even make this better, I am going to make myself smaller because I want to be able to get myself as much as possible underneath here as I need. Because when we do that, we're actually going to drop. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this here and we're going to do that there. Now, what that allows us to do is it actually allows us to get more momentum and push ourselves more into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our seesaw because we're up again so we can't go we're going to unshrink ourselves, and then we're going to do the vical drinking horn but we're actually going to go back to havoc because i want to use fell rush and not infernal strike we're going to do the drinking horn and if we did this properly this should let us clip out of bounds here and it does so you can see we're actually in the structure now when we do this we should be able to jump forward and go into here now, going into here allows you to get in the middle here. Now, what you want to do is you actually want to jump. All right. So once you drop down here, you're going to want to walk forward straight here. And there's going to be like a pillar you're going to see. This will allow you to move across. You'll get straight out of the map and you'll just fly straight. And there we go. And you'll actually land on top of the structure out here. And what you can do is you can just keep flying straight out. So you can see we are officially out of black rook hold and once we fly over the wall here we can actually keep going forward and feel free to explore around here if you want but you can actually fall through these uh so be careful going through here um and you can swim by the way so don't be afraid of water in this oob and this should allow us to get out freely right here and there you go that's how to escape out of the black rook hold so pretty awesome and uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll catch you on the regular oob video take care Welcome back everybody to another all things nerd OOB video Today we are back in the Legion expansion And we have officially broke out of Black Rook Hold Now, this was not, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys This was a difficult OOB to perform um, Now, I don't know exactly who got the OOB credit in the 18 community first I didn't see it on the list so I might have overlooked it. If you do have the the claim on this OOB bounty, please let me know. We'll definitely add it to the list. Uh, if I find out who actually broke out first, I'll also add it to the comments and give them credit. But <laughs> this was a very difficult 
I, I didn't think it was going to be as difficult as it was, and maybe I made it more difficult than it needed to be, but man, this was a hard OB to perform. I, uh, it took me a minute to find my way out, and it was like, uh, oh crap, okay, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> so, I do have a solid path to how to get out now, which is really cool, but, uh, it was definitely not. We're going to go take a look around. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have never been out here before. This is my very first time exploring. So I don't know the death walls, I don't know DC walls, I don't know nothing. So this is gonna be a blind OOB and we're gonna go explore. Now, obviously we're gonna avoid water and the re reason being is because you're never supposed to swim in the dungeon here. So I'm just not even gonna risk it and try to avoid water at all costs. But you guys can see uh, a really good shot over here. Look at that. That is black real cold from the outside. You can see the walls are missing and all that. So it was a lot of fun um, going through that dungeon. I don't think I've actually ever did that dungeon until now. So that was kind of neat to do. Now, as we explore out here, we are officially in Val Shara, right? That's how you say it? Val Shara. I know all you Lord nerds are cringing. <laughs> uh, but we are back in the Broken Isles in Val Shara. And uh, we have broken out of black brook hold and we are going to be heading out this way into this general direction of the area we cross the river over here and so we're like right around here i believe in this spot so yeah we're gonna go take a look around uh i'm, I'm pretty excited to see what's out here I'm, I'm excited to see what blizzard has kept and what they have it now i don't think this is like another dungeon where they keep everything outside and unfortunately because we are in a dungeon uh, that we're always supposed to be inside. It's not letting us mount up, but I'm hoping That it will so let's go take a look around I'm excited to go explore and let's go see what we can find now I do have the ink the stinky bright potion on so it is making everything all nice and bright outside So you guys can get a better look. This is what everything looks like without it Not much has changed. It just looks a lot brighter with it So um, I'm gonna turn that back on because I enjoy it there we go. And I like what the uh, skybox does and it allows us to see outside the map a lot better with the uh, the lighting. Now coming up here, we they do keep some of the uh, night elish runes up here. As you can take a look, they do have the statue and all that. Now to be honest with you guys, I don't know these places by names. Um, I did play through the Legion expansion, but I just, you know, I don't know what places are exactly called. Wow, so they do keep a lot in here. This looks like the uh, Crest of the Moon here. Beautiful. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a fairy fountain in um, in Zelda. <laughs> Especially Ocarina of Time. When I walked in here, I don't know, I just got kind of that vibe with the floating spears. and Wow, that is beautiful. Look at that. Love it. Love these OOBs and what they keep. So, pretty cool that Blizzard keeps a lot of the stuff out here. So, let's keep walking along and let's go see what else we can find. Now, I'm excited because I don't know what they all keep out here. And I'm assuming they don't keep the whole broken house. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. There are some dungeons in Legion where they actually keep all of the broken isles outside. And I'm, I'm going to be doing a series on that coming up. Not quite yet. That's going to take a while and a long time to shoot. So, uh, to film. So, I'm definitely going to be doing um, a series on that. I won't spoil the dungeon. Some of you may already know what it is. But I'm definitely going to be doing a place on that. And uh, I want to do a video eventually. And see. Um, but that's definitely going to be a series. So... We're not going to do that yet, but that might take a while to get through. But there are some really neat things in that video I want to go see and show you guys. So as you can tell, uh, all the roads are missing <laughs> out here. So we kind of got to fly across. But you know, I think this is going to be a fun OB. Because as you can tell, with these kind of OBs, usually there's stuff hiding out here. So I'm excited to see if um, we can find more of like a uh, pink... You know the pink textured boxes or uh, cubes or i don't know let's go find out the remember the delete me cubes that they hide outside the map the one in um spires of rock and sky reach that was fun that was a fun ob i enjoyed doing that one 
So coming up here, it looks like they do keep uh, the ocean. And I think we found the edge of the map. Yep, we did. You can kind of get a better view under there. So we did find the edge of the map already. So we know that out there is void. So we don't want to go out there and we can't jump out there anyways, because if we try to jump out here, we're going to get stuck in the wall. So we're actually going to go head out this way. And we're going to keep making our way, kind of do like a circle around this map. So the OB out here actually isn't as big as I thought it would be. Hmm. All right. So coming up, we actually have the uh, Emerald Nightmare tree going on there. The, you know, tree that got corrupted. Um, I don't know if they're going to keep the raid entrance here, but let's go find out. Actually, I don't even know where the raid entrance is, to be honest with you. I think it's down here below, but let's go take a look. And this thing is massive. I do love the textures going on out here. You got all the red, like... I don't know what you call that. It just looks like vines growing out and stuff. That's really neat. It looks like red corruption. That's just like really sick art right there. I love the graphics on the ground here where things are normally supposed to be, but they're not because, you know, we're OB. We're unloaded here. Oh, that's also another series. I need to do a um, Emerald Nightmare raid uh, in the Legion expansion. Emerald Nightmare was a fun raid, and uh, I need, actually need to go back and do a series on that. And go to the, each part of the raid and the different portals and all that. That would be a really fun video. I'm You know what? I think I might do that next, actually. There's a, a lot of really neat things to see. Like the Corrupted Thunder Bluff and uh, Ungoro Crater. So I'm definitely going to have to check that out. And uh, Corrupted Moonglade. So I'll definitely have to go do a video on the uh, Emerald Nightmare. Now as we make our way up here, you can kind of get a glimpse of the tree and everything underneath here a lot better. Look how tall that thing is. That thing is massive. You know, that's a cool screenshot. I'm not taking a screenshot. That's kind of, that's really neat, actually. Question is, can we climb this hill? And the answer is yes, we can. So that's good. All right, we do got some green lush grass going on back here. Unfortunately, we haven't seen anything really too interesting yet with the outside of this OOB. I guess Blizzard just didn't hide too much out here, unless I'm just haven't seen everything yet. Another you know, glimpse under the ground here. Now, if we were to get under there somehow, that would all be DC, so definitely don't want to do that. But I do have to say, the stinky bright potion definitely makes the map look way, uh, way more brighter <laughs> and just alive. I love that you can turn, you know, night and dark maps into bright maps that you're normally not supposed to have as bright. It just really changes the world altogether. All right, let's go take a flight down here. I think we kind of saw what's all up here. It's just another mountain. I, that leads to nowhere because that's the edge of the world anyways. And let's go fly in here. Look at that. That's a really cool shot right there. And you can see... The corruption going on here and it's really neat to see things that are unloaded with all this red textureness going on so we finally made it to the bottom and now we can go take a look around yeah getting out of this ob i gotta tell you guys <laughs> that was uh that was something um like, it's not too difficult once you know how to do it, but, ah, man, that took me quite a minute to find out how to get out of this place. Look at that. That's a really neat shot. I'm going to zoom out here. I like all the trees underneath the ground there that are just sticking in the, uh, under the earth.
Man, you know, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought there would be a lot more out here to see. Especially, you know, I felt like Blizzard could do a lot of testing stuff out here because I don't think they ever banked on people actually ever escaping out here. Well, Blizzard never banked on anybody ever escaping in their OBs, right? I hope you guys all enjoyed the liminal spaces video. I really had a fun time making that. I'm definitely thinking about making more in the future. Now here's the question, should we go climb this tree? And I feel like the answer is yes, but or I guess let's go find out if this tree is solid or not. Sometimes with these OOBs, the trees are there, but they actually deload them. So you just walk right through and, oh, okay. This one's actually solid. Awesome. So let's go see if we can make our way up the tree and get to the tippy top up here. It's really unfortunate we can't mount up. Uh, the only thing is we might not be able to, but we'll see. Looks like we're doing pretty good so far. So not too bad. Here we go. All right. Awesome, guys. Look at that. We got to the top of the tree here. We didn't get to the very top, which I don't think is possible. But, you know, normally in the regular game, you could just fly up here. So that's okay. But I do like that you can just keep walking. We're going to get an awesome view up here. So there's the entirety of the whole map, basically. That's where we escaped out of. That's the dungeon itself. And let's go over here and let's actually go walk along the branch and then we're going to fly out that way because we haven't seen the other side uh, yet or that side either. So let's go take a look and see what we can find this way. You know, I do have to say this is a pretty OB though. I do like the ambience of this place. They did do a good job capturing the outside, for sure. Even though it's very, uh, not too much to see, it's kind of empty. But like I said, I don't think Blizzard banked on anyone actually coming out here. Alright, how far does this actually go out? And it looks like that's the edge of the world again. But yeah, it looks like you can kind of see the edges of the world way out there. So maybe you actually can. Oh, uh, no, that's just be it's just void. All right, let's go fly down and let's go actually go around to the back side. I don't want to fly back into the dungeon, so I'm going to be careful here. And I don't know exactly what's a death wall or DC, but we're going to avoid water at all costs. So we're going to fly out to this giant mountain which is on the back side of the dungeon. And we're going to go see if we can get and land over here. Now, as you guys were coming down here, you can kind of see uh, just little bits and pieces of the map, but a lot of the trees are covering everything, so it's kind of tough to see so far. We're going to keep hitting our ventral retreat. We're going to do our glide because we want to make it. Now, unfortunately, we need to be careful. Because if we go up this mountain, I have a suspicious feeling that we're going to walk back into the dungeon. So uh, I do want to be careful up here. And I want to see if I can get on the very top of the mountain here to get a, a cool view of the, uh, the map and the tree and all that. Let's go take a look. Uh, do you want to be careful up here? Is it even possible to get up here is the question. Um, I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Look at, we're actually up here with all the bats. That's kind of neat. Is there actually any? No, there's nobody flying on them. They're just like demon bats flying around. 
All right, let's go make our way. All right, so we actually did come up here, so that's good. We were able to climb. Well, let's actually go make our way up this way. There we go. And let's just keep making our way up the mountain. There we go. Nice, we're almost at the top here. So there is no back. Oh, there is some homes and stuff back over there. Okay. So, oh wow, there's a bunch of farmland stuff too. Oh, we didn't see that. Um, so let's actually go fly around. So you guys can kind of see a little bit inside the dungeon here. So that's actually the last boss room right there. And you can kind of get a glimpse back inside of where we were. So we definitely don't want to fly in that way, but we definitely do want to fly around this way. So let's actually go fly out this way. So we avoid the dungeon entirely because we don't want to fly back in that way because that would actually be... That would suck. So let's go head out to the land out here. And you guys get an awesome shot of the backside of the dungeon here. Let me zoom in. Oh, don't want to go that way. <laughs> there we go. So that is what the black rook hold looks like from the outside. And let's go slowly fly down this way. And let's go check out these homes that are just living out here in the distance. Are these homes? Can you walk in them? Oh, you can. And the music stops, so that's kind of creepy. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, I think normally it's actually really dark out here. Uh, in the regular map, right? Yeah, because if you... Okay, so we're in Brayden's... Brayden's Brook. Okay, so this is where we're at, right here, around here. There's another awesome shot of the outside of the dungeon with the tree in the background. And let's go take a look at these other homes. And you can see the, the, the farmland is all unloaded, so nothing's actually out here. And we're still going to avoid water, so we're going to be careful coming over here. I do see a waterfall and all that in the background. Now, I don't know if the game would lag out um, if we, but I just don't want to risk it. So... All right, nothing actually up here in these homes. Do you got a water wheel over here? Now, I'm curious to see, I do want to get back into the castle, the Black Rock Hole, but I want to get on the ground area and see if we can actually explore there without getting back into the dungeon itself. You can see these homes are rendered here. And what did we just... Carl Lissel's Cottage. All right, we just explored this place. <laughs> All right. So my... Oh, interesting. That's uh, Gilneas music. That's awesome. I love the Gilneas music. It's definitely one of my favorite soundtracks in the game. I'd like to have a bed right under the stairs here. Gosh, that looks uncomfortable. Wake up in the middle of the night and just smack your head on the bottom of the stairs there. That would suck. <laughs> that would not be fun. Man, that's awesome. I love the Gilneas soundtrack. Ah, it's not going to stay. Unfortunately. That sucks. All right, let's go check out these other homes. And then let's go see if we can actually get back in the castle, but not actually uh, load back in. The other homes, okay, that looks like the same model we just saw. We just... All right, we just explored another co cottage here. All right, cool. 
So let's actually go head back this way. And let's go fly in over the wall. And let's go see if we can... Actually, the walls might just be hollow. So we might actually just be able to walk through them. Um, maybe not, though. But let's go be a little safer and come to a more stable land here. And let's go see if we can actually walk through the wall itself. Yep, we can. Okay. Awesome. All right. Now, unfortunately, I don't know where the map drops off. <laughs> so I'm kind of afraid to walk over in this area um, because everything, you just walk through everything. All right. Looks like everything's good so far. Let's go take a look over here. Oh, it looks like this is the entrance to the dungeon right down here. Well, let's, can we go up the stairs? No, we can't. Fortunately, we walked through everything. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make our way up somehow. We have to zoom in here. I don't know if we can actually get up there. Um, let's see if we can go around. I'm trying not to clip back into the dungeon here because like we're literally right by it, right below it. And everything we're walking on. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. And you kind of get an outside shot of the dungeon here. Oh, look at that. That's kind of neat. I love the, uh, just the random open window with the light shining through. Huh. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. It's interesting, some of the things when it unloads stuff from the, uh, OOB. The things that you can actually see outside. Now, th this is where we're actually going to walk through. Um... That looks like solid ground. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice, okay. So we're, we're doing okay so far. Because the whole dungeon takes place above. So we're okay. Look at that, I love the... Uh... Nice, okay, so we got up here. Awesome. Oh, we fell through. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Uh, but we're good. We're good. All right. Awesome. Wow. Look at the random water just here. So we can walk on the ground floor. This is exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm really happy right now. If we go over here. Do we walk through the floor? Uh, yeah, it goes through. It's hollow. Okay. Does this also... Yeah, okay. Are we stuck down here? Shoot. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Ooh, I'm afraid to like walk through things because I'm afraid I'm going to like fall down. But there's the side of the, the panel and the open door again. And where I want to get to is actually up here, but I don't know if it's possible. Because we're walking through walls here. Um... Oh, we fell through the map. All right. Crap. I think we're screwed. We're just going to have to try to go make it to land over here. Um, oh. Okay. So you can actually swim. <laughs> All right. You can actually swim in the OOP. Well, that's good to know. See, guys, you just never know until something accidentally happens. Um, but hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure through the Black Rook Hold. Uh, it's been a lot of fun going through here. You can kind of get an underwater shot. That's so funny that you can actually swim in here. All right, well, that's good to know. Um, there you guys go. If you wanted to know if you could swim in this OOB, you can. Oh, there's actually a cave over there too. Didn't even see that. Always seeing new things. Can we swim out there is the question. My real question is... Oh, there's the entrance to the portal over here. Okay, so that's actually the beginning. Oh, gosh. I think we're going to DC now. But anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you for coming to the Black Rook Hold. You guys are awesome. Thank you for always supporting the channel. I'm going to go DC here. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care.